so the next thing that I got to do is uh, I got to put these head uh, stud bolts on. And uh, to do that, it's a little tricky because uh, these holes, you can't just put the head bolts all the way in. You actually have to put these at a certain height to make sure that they're correct. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this one in. I've already done this one. I've marked it. But I just want you guys to see kind of what, what the idea is here. So that goes there. And um, what I did is I took my cylinder head here. I'm going to just temporarily place it on gently. Okay. And then uh, you have the nut here. And what you're doing is you're making sure that you have just enough space because this is threaded all the way through. You need to make sure that there's enough space that when you tighten this down, that you can actually torque it without hitting the top of this. Now, you'll know, notice that I put the cylinder on without the head gasket. That's intentional because that's just going to give me a little bit more space on this bolt. Um, once I put the gasket in, it's going to raise the head up slightly, giving me more threads uh, to access. So once you set the height, what you want to do is take this off here. And uh, I'm just using a regular screwdriver here. And I mark the line right there. And that's going to show me how far I need to um, to bolt in the rest of these. Now, the next step is to take some Loctite and Loctite these in. So I'm going to leave that bolt there at that height and I'm going to start working around. So I'm going to apply some Loctite. Now I got some, some gel Loctite here. Let's see if I can get this to, oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay. Can back off a little bit. Kind of spin this around. Okay. Now I'm going to just put this in and I'm going to thread it in there. Okay. I'm just going to turn. Now here's where we take our, our line that we marked. We just want to check. So it looks like I'm a little low, so I'm going to come back out. A turn that looks pretty good to that all right so we're just going to repeat this process I'm going around I'm just going to add a little bit of Loctite here so you can see again I'm using the the gel type this is a little um, it's a little easier to work with I think than the liquid stuff but uh, use what you got that in there. Making sure you don't cross thread anything. Definitely making sure you don't cross thread anything. Okay. Take my, my line, my mark. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. side there that looks good 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 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick test fit the head. Gently line this up, set it down. Now, we should have, by the time we put the gasket in, it's going to raise this up just a hair. And then, of course, we can do just a washer. I think that'll give us all the height that we need on this head bolt. So at this point, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to sit, sit, let this Loctite dry overnight, and uh, then we'll come back and uh, take the head off, um, test to make sure everything's nice and tight so we can start actually torquing down on these things. So um, it's about 18 pounds of, of 18 to 21 pounds of torque on the bolts. So um, we'll uh, be able to do that hopefully once this Loctite dries. All right, that, I'm gonna cut it off here and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next clip.